Hello everybody, my name is Dane Prime, and today I'm going to be showing you guys the LEGO Ford Mustang 2014 that I've been working on. Now you guys might actually remember this car since 2017, I think. When I started working on this car in 2017, I've been trying to, uh, I took a Speed Champions Ford Mustang 2015 car and tried to turn it into the 2014. Um, this car right now is not officially done. But I will show you like from part to part until it gets finished. So I've I've been putting all my almost all my effort into this car. So yeah. All right. So let's start off with the front. So the front we got we still stuck with the same headlights. You guys can tell. And then we act. This is where almost all everything got changed in this car. Now, if you guys can see, this car is no longer six studs wide. This car is actually eight studs wide now. So yeah. And then this is supposed to be a Ford GT, so the Ford Mustang GT 5.0. So the 5.0 usually had like the little lights in the grill, so I added those little lights. And then if you guys would like to see a tutorial on this, how to make this car, I will show you as soon as I finish this car, which would probably be in 2075, but whatever. So this is how the car looks from the front. I had to, I used a, uh, here I'll open it up for you guys. So this is how it looks from the inside. So I I use a slab right here to make it, and then I use another slab right here, and then I also had to use two of these to connect to this bottom part to make it look more like a muscle car. Uh, yeah, and I just added these uh, slab cheese slopes to make it look more English, like the Ford 2014 Mustang, and that's what I tried to win for. It actually looks really realistic. And then right here is like where all the vents, ventilation are and stuff like that. Alright, so we open up, I also added this to make it look more like a 2014. And this part, the, um, the top is actually based on the GT500. But whatever, I'm not blaming anything. So you just open this up. I'm still working on the engine part as you guys can see in there, but it's we're making progress. We got a cheese slope over there. Uh, I don't remember. I forgot the name of this. A Travis break? Yeah, Travis break. And then I'm kind of working in the colors right now. I'm not really caring about the colors until the end. I'm just trying to figure out the design for it. But I I got some racing tires in the front, like normal racing tires for drag racing in the back. So that's how like they that's how people in drag racing or racing do. They have some drag racing in the front and then normal tires in the back. So after we got that done, let's look at the side. Now, these doors can open, which is what I like. They can open until, well, until the joints can go. But yeah, so they can open. I'm still working on the edge right here, so. And then right here has like this little angle. I like this little angle. Looks nice. And then I got these to make it look nice. These rectangular ones, circle-ish ones. And then, since the 2014 has like different backlights, I kind of changed it. Let's see if I can zoom in in here. So, you guys can see I, there's some gray, red, black, and another gray in there. And then in the center right here is where like the horse would be or the GT symbol would be. And then here we got some slabs and stuff like that. I already showed you. This, bit, this side is basically the same as the other side, just different color. Uh, the cool th uh, the the cool thing about this car is if you can, if you want to try and put a minifigure in here, just open this like this, and you can actually fit. Now that you can actually fit people in like minifigures in here, it makes it easier. But for this car, so one thing one thing else I changed since this is an eight stud wide. There's there's able to fit four people in total in this car. Uh, like for example, there's two seats in the front right here. I'm still working in the interior and stuff like that. Like I'm saying, guys, it's just a work in progress. And then back here, we got a seat where we can. I'm gonna add one of these, one, one more of these back here, all the way right there, to make it look super sick. And then just to close it, just go down like this. Make sure it gets in there with the thing. Ah, hold on. Sometimes I have some trouble with this. There we go. So here's the car right now. It's pretty nice. Let's compare it to my McLaren, which I had a long time ago that I never reviewed. I think I reviewed it one time, but whatever. 
<coughs> and sorry guys, my Hall of Armor is back there, so yeah. Um, so this is the Ford Mustang. I'm actually pretty impressed for the, all the work I've been putting in this car. This car, I've been working on it since 2017. I'm actually super surprised. Oh, once I finish with this car, I'll put an evolution video of all the videos I did to rebuilding this car, to new, adding new techniques, new new building bricks, new, new stuff like that. So, as you guys can tell, this one's like six studs wide. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six studs wide, and you compare it to the Ford Mustang. Now, if you guys remember, the Ford Mustang actually was only able to hold one minifigure. And maybe, maybe just two, but now it can probably fit four people. And I'm also trying to add the stick shifters in there to make it look sick. Um, I'm not going to be able to add any glass or anything, because obviously it's going to be nearly impossible to add it. But here's how, here's how the car looks from up there now I've been thinking about this car this car would be really nice if it had a trunk but the only problem is I can't open the trunk because this what's holding this is in the way so I have to figure out another way to make a trunk so yeah this is a Ford Mustang and the car is still only being held down by this yeah it's not really being held down by much but yeah, this is my this is the progress now, and I'm almost done with it. I just need to add more blue slabs right here, like that are smooth, and then like this smooth. I just need to put them around the car, and then I need to fix this these giant holes right here, make it look more angleish, and then yeah, the car is gonna be done. Oh, and fix the interior. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. See ya.